again what is up everyone welcome back to another episode on the 18 channel i hope you're all doing well out there and hopefully things aren't too crazy with everything that's going on i mean i know we're living in a world with this great green bug around us so i know it's bound to be a little bit crazy but you know what i mean i hope you're doing as well as you can be anyway here we find ourselves once again at the start of a new academic year if you're a newbie that's just started sixth form this year then i'm sure you must have heard this a gazillion times of how a levels are meant to be super duper hard considering some of the dms that i've been receiving after just the first couple of weeks it seems like some of you have come to realize some truth in that now just before i delve into the nitty-gritty of why a levels are tough and what you could be doing to make life a little bit easier i just want to make a really quick announcement now this is the part where i would usually say to you guys that make sure you subscribe to the channel and so forth and etc and so on well if you don't want to subscribe you don't have to and look that's actually cool i don't mind that but did you know that every subscriber and follower of the 18 acad youtube and instagram channels will now get exclusive members access to our online portal so what are you saying i mean so this means if you're studying A-level chemistry, physics, maths, and psychology, you can get absolutely free content of the entire syllabus by just subscribing and being a follower of us. And oh yeah, anyone sitting GCSE maths, this also applies to you. I know you wanna keep that on a low low if you are resitting, but don't worry, we've got you covered too. This is exclusive premium content guys that we spend hours and hours creating and you can gain access to it right now. Just go ahead and smash that subscribe button and go onto the gram and follow us there. And that's all you need to do to begin using this service, which would have cost over a hundred pounds per subject. And now you can have that at your own convenience and access it 24 seven for absolutely free of charge. So do us a favor, go tell a friend about it and hey look and if the word spreads we can then go ahead and offer more things in return so don't be selfish about it let's try and help one another out in the process so is it true that a levels are much harder and the answer to that is okay when compared to gcse's yes definitely there is a step up to a levels university degree level work tends to be the most advanced that you'll cover in your sort of educational lifespan and speaking from my own experience having studied all the way up to a master's and at three different universities i've come to gather that what i will definitely agree with though is that at a levels in the space and time that you have this is the most amount of information that you'll have to cram in and that's not even the tough part here like for example if you decided to memorize all of the content which i'm pretty sure some of you have already probably tried to do so it still really wouldn't get you a half decent grade and the reason for that is quite simple at a levels you're being tested on the application of the knowledge that you're gathering see at gcse's you learn something and the questions are quite straightforward you don't have to be too selective when deriving an answer however at a level just explaining a process may not get you the marks even though you could have explained all the relevant points about the process and even to a high degree of accuracy you have to be very very mindful of what the question is asking and this in and of itself is a technique to master and this is what we teach here at 18. this is exactly why students struggle to cope even those believe it or not with brilliant gcse grades because not only is it content heavy but also it's a new style of learning and application of knowledge and you have to adapt pretty fast if you're going to do well because some students once they start falling behind find it pretty tough to catch back up again simply because of the overwhelming nature of the amount of content so if you want to go ahead and do well which i'm assuming you do since you wouldn't be watching this or what would be the point of watching this up until this point then here are my top three points you should consider adopting number one make notes that are relevant to you by this i don't mean all of these jazzed up pretty notes that you see being blasted all over instagram i mean look let's be honest yes as lit and flammable as these notes are how much of that is really sinking in here and look at a level you kind of want to move away from regurgitating information and memorizing pages from textbooks instead you want to retain enough information i.e the essential gist of the info and the content and the formulas that are being presented and so forth and then try and put that into practice i would very much advise you to spend more time on questions than writing notes out as you'll find that much more beneficial and rewarding 
Number two, mix and match instead of working through the spec in a chronological order and following the textbook or what the teacher is doing. Look guys, you wanna try and read ahead of time and read different parts of the syllabus. Now look, if you're struggling with the basic stuff, then obviously don't get ahead of yourself. First, get those essential basics covered, but schedule in a time and get into this routine. Like, let me give you an example. During my free period, which I used to have on a Wednesday afternoon, I would just spend that time reading a chapter, not even making notes, but just warming myself up in terms of what's coming ahead. And what made this so much more satisfying is when the teacher actually goes through it in class, you feel as though you've wrapped your head around the concept quite well and you can then ask relevant questions or if you're the shy type, the lesson can be a way of consolidating that information and just makes you feel really good because you're able to understand what's being taught whereas the vast majority of your classmates are just trying to wrap their heads around the concept. Also, remember and try and understand this that A-Levels is trying to turn you guys into more independent learners. So you shouldn't be depending on your teachers all of the time. You know, you should try and stay on top of the material yourself. Number three, practice questions over and over again. Look, if there was a secret to mastering A-Levels, then as much as this isn't really a secret, this would be, it. like I've already expressed, far too many people are too methodical in the way that they approach their studies and often that can be the biggest difference. Instead of revising and memorizing things, try and do as many questions as you can and watch how over time your ability and your results improves exponentially. This is the one technique that actually saved me an immense amount of time and effort and this is what most of our students here at A-Team are taught to adopt and hence why you see them performing top with top grades. Well, I hope you guys can go away and work on some of these tips. As always, feel free to drop a comment down below. As I mentioned earlier, if any of you would like access to the full GCSE maths course, A-level chemistry, physics, A-level maths, and the psychology program, then make sure to subscribe and head over to Instagram to drop your email in the DM and we'll give you exclusive access to that. Also guys, if any of you feel like you're, you really need the help, then do get in touch and we'll provide you with a genuine plan of action of what to do during your A-levels. So yeah, I think I'm pretty much done with what I have to say today. And on that note, my name is Ami and I will catch up with you another time. Trying to put him in the worst mood P1 cleaner than the church shoes up Millie point to just to hurt them All red lamps to tease them None of these